Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Joy of Puzzles. I have for you today a puzzle called Time Square. It was published in 2014 by Buffalo Games. Buffalo Games was established in 1986 and they were originally founded in Buffalo, New York. They now claim on their website that their workforce spans 14 different countries, uh, but they don't give a lot of information about the founders and some of the history, so I don't have a lot of details to give there, nor are they on their website. Um, but they've been around in the puzzle game for quite some time. They are the licensed company for some big brand names, and a lot of puzzles that I own fall under these categories and are from these guys. Some, uh, some giants you might know are Coca-Cola, uh, Warner Brothers, and Star Wars. So, well established that they're able to pick up those licenses uh, as, as part of their brand. So, link below for Buffalo Games. The artist, and I'm going to say the name wrong, is Gilsa Holscher. Uh, I was very happy to find that she had a website where she displays all of the work that she does, and she specializes in digital collages. Uh, kind of an interesting little field, some really nice stuff on her site. Now, Buffalo Games calls this puzzle Times Square. She calls it the crossroads of the world. And I have the link below for the detailed story about how she took the pictures and uh, what she did to to create this artwork, and her website's pretty interesting. Here we have a particular highlight. Shadow, the Puzzle Pup, makes an appearance. Uh, though she's a little camera shy today, perhaps it's because she's sporting a an outfit that maybe isn't her favorite. Um, yeah, so always glad when she can make an appearance, despite kicking my puzzle around and moving all the pieces that I have to then go back and uh, <laughs> correct. It's still happy that she shows up and she's happy to be there for the most part. But like I said, a little camera shy today. That's okay. She'll make more appearances and uh, <laughs> I'm sure it'll have the same result. Me cleaning up a puzzle afterwards. Uh, so. Uh, moving on, the strategy behind this puzzle. I, I talk about collage puzzles, I've made many of them, I've reviewed many of them. In general, I would say collage puzzles are easier than regular puzzles because most pieces, when you pick them up, you can go find where they are. Uh, this is a little different. This, this one being a collage photograph such as they are and a lot of dark images it was a little more challenging than a normal collage but the strategy was this the giant green sign in the middle along with all the other green pieces really stood out amongst the dark colors so that's where the project starts and then from there the neon colors are again easy to find and, and help create boundaries within the puzzle, you know, signs and um, edges and lots of straight lines. So that helps subdivide the puzzle into workable chunks. Uh, once I had all the green out and the neon signs, after that, the orange pieces, there are several taxi cabs that are orange, uh, a particular billboard that's orange, and all the little red pieces that kind of pop throughout the puzzle. After that, though, it's a little bit of a grind. You have a lot of dark pieces with a little speckle of light in them, so it becomes a little bit of a challenge, but that's, you know, what you're looking for. Uh, this was a thousand-piece puzzle, and it took me six and a half hours. As a general rule, a thousand-piece puzzle, if it's less than seven hours or right around that mark, I would say that's average. I'd call that a three. So we'll, we'll get to the review now. I'm going to review this puzzle in four categories on a scale of one to five. The first category that I'm going to review this under is the puzzle material quality. How good is the paperboard? How well is the image bonded to it? This is above average. I'm going to give this a four. I found that the pieces were all, uh, all the little tabs were 
rigid, had no problems, no, didn't feel like any pieces were a danger of bending or breaking, and then the image itself was crisp and clean and bonded well to the paperboard. The next important category is the puzzle cut quality. This was also above average. Buffalo Buffalo Games did a great job here. This I'm going to give this a 4 as well. The pieces really, again, I'll say it as you could almost put them in blindfold. That you would be so sure that it fit into the correct spot. It was never ambiguity, never doubt that this is where the piece went. Uh, so, great. It makes the puzzle experience so much better when those two categories are above average. Difficulty, I'm going to give this a 3. Now, you know, a little bit of a, a challenge here in the respect that there is a little bit of a grind at the end, but it's still a collage. There are still so many subcomponents and little images. Um, but because so much of the puzzle is black in color, I can't give it a 2, which I have done for other collage styles. This one still required a fair amount of grind at the end. Again, it worked out to 6.5 hours, so... I'll give this a 3, right about average for a puzzle. A little, if you're looking for a collage, this is probably a little harder than your average collage style puzzle. Frameability. The most subjective of all the categories. Uh, this is my, my perception or how I feel about the image and would, would I ever seal this puzzle and hang on a wall somewhere if I did that kind of thing. This one's above average. Honestly, I gave it a four. I mean, this is legitimate artwork, right? There's a whole collection of artists that are doing this out there. The, the artist behind this project is... Um, I would say relatively known. I mean, when I went to her website, she has done work for major universities, uh, just straight up artwork. You don't, you don't perhaps think of this style in the back of your head when you're saying an artist, but clearly it is. Uh, the the effort and experience and the decisions that go into laying out something like this requires that kind of talent. So this is a four. Um, yeah, it's above average for uh, a puzzle. Now, the overall score, it's not linear, but in this case it does actually work out. Then I'm going to give it a 4. This is an above average puzzle. I will build this puzzle again and enjoy every minute of it. Maybe not the last couple. I'll just grind out the last couple of dark pieces, but overall this is above average. I would... Uh, recommend this if it's still out there. I think it is on Amazon to buy. It's a good puzzle. Lots of fun. Um, the quality of the material and the cut make it enjoyable. Make it above average. Uh, as we get here to the end, you see that the strategy I stuck to pretty closely. Um, the big green was obviously done. The orange. The cabs. I discovered the purple color late in the game. I realized, oh look, I have all these components that are purple and this whole set of windows. Um, yeah, it, it, it came together pretty smoothly. Um, it, the nature of the collage puzzle, you'll see you have these patches of puzzle that are completed. All these little quadrants and sections and then you end up with little boundaries, and those start giving you shapes, they start giving you hints to the pieces that go there, so it seems like a little hunt and peck at the end here, but it's not that bad because the space where the puzzles fit are usually very well defined, so you know when you pick up a piece, not only based on the limited information you have on a dark piece, but also based on its shape, where it goes. And because the cut quality was so good, you never felt that you put this piece randomly in a spot where it, it didn't belong. Um, so, quite enjoyable. Again, even at the end here, I, in the last couple minutes, I believe my, my son shows up to help me at the very end to put in the last couple pieces. Uh, it's great that he came came in at the end to uh, to poach the victory to uh, <laughs> to to help out at the last minute. If you enjoyed the video, if you 
like the narrative, go ahead and click the like button. I appreciate everyone that takes the time to, to sit through these videos. I certainly enjoy making them, and I uh, look forward to the next one that I can put out there for you guys. Uh, again, thanks everyone. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.